At a time when Minnesota has record low unemployment, meaning a lot of jobs and not enough workers at times, how can the state continue to grow business and bring new key players into different industries? Well, a group of business leaders is working to answer that question. Fox 9's Rose Schmidt joins us in our newsroom to look at their ideas. Rose? Kelsey, we know it's been especially difficult to be a business owner over the last two years with challenges hiring and retaining good employees. But the focus today was about encouraging startups and giving business owners opportunities to thrive. Businesses have faced challenge after challenge in recent years. Say his name! From unrest to COVID-19. We were coming out of, of, of the, the, the darkest days of the pandemic. We knew that much of the pandemic had disrupted our economy. At a roundtable Thursday. We need every worker we can get in this economy. We need every opportunity we can get. Business leaders came together to talk about ways to grow Minnesota's economy over the next decade. How we rebuild on Lake Street and in our, our core communities is how we rebuild is as important as what we actually rebuild. One of the main focuses addressing systematic barriers so that people from all backgrounds can start and grow their businesses. People like Jazz Hampton, CEO of Turn Signal, and his business partners. What I see is a, a, a story of turn signal of three black men leaving their professional careers to start a business. Their app turn signal launched last year. When you're pulled over, it connects you to an attorney 24 7 365. The idea born out of a need they saw in their community. It isn't easy to leave a job as an attorney at a national law firm to do this and to take the risk. The business leaders stress there needs to be more resources given toward people of color to take that same risk through startup grants or other means. Also, investment in things like childcare, broadband, and innovation. We have historically low unemployment in Minnesota. Productivity is going to be a huge part of the formula, and that is, is why technology investment is so important. Another idea thrown around today was the importance of good marketing. It's not enough to have a good product. You have to make people know the story behind it. Kelsey. All right. Thanks, Rose. Well, that